Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna talk about a print-on-demand daily routine for 2023 and beyond. As we head into a new year, I want everybody to really focus on how do they make the next year as good as possible for your print-on-demand business. And this video uh, almost comes by request. Like I had a one-on-one -on -one call with somebody recently and they said, Ryan, like when I finally have time in the day to sit down and push my business forward, sometimes I get lost as to where to begin. You know, and they wanted advice on just like, what is my daily routine like? So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my recommendations, um, talk about like my personal daily routine for my businesses and hopefully shed some light on, you know, what's working for me. Uh, so let's get to it. So the theme of this video is again, daily routine. I love the word routine. It's been pivotal in me being able to really in my life just accomplish all the things that I've been able to accomplish. You know what I mean? It's because I think in terms of what I know I will be doing like at certain times on certain days and in respecting what I pretty much know to be true or I can project in the future to be true, that also helps me understand like just how much time in a day I have available to do things like work on my side hustles you know everybody at this point it's like oh look youtuber 120,000 subscribers big business like i can't relate to him but yo i started where you may be like if you're still working a nine to five like i was working two jobs and this truly was a side hustle but i made it work because number one like i because of my routine i didn't have any like false assumptions about how my day was going to go i pretty much like knew how my days would go and was able to adjust accordingly. Like if I had an hour in the day to work on my business, then I made decisions about what I would get done during that hour with the understanding that there wasn't two hours, there wasn't an hour and a half, it was one hour. You get what I'm saying? So I think the perspective and just coming to the realization of like exactly what your time constraints are and how much time you can dedicate to your business is very important, right? We haven't even begun to talk about the print on demand aspect yet. I just wanted to zoom out for a second and just say, hey, keep it real with yourself. How much time do you have to work on your business? That is the amount of time that you need to be budgeting, all right? Also, before we get into the actual business side too, I just wanted to recommend also, like create good habits. You know what I mean? It's it's gonna be 2023 soon. New Year's uh, is always a great time to kind of go back to the drawing board, reevaluate what's going on in your life, good, bad, ugly, <laughs> um, you know, have your fun, but like also, come on now, like we're only here for a certain amount of time, like, life is much more enjoyable when you're happy, when you're healthy, right? And I guess wealthy should probably come third, right? Happiness, health, wealth, they're all probably tied together in some respects. But like, let's be real for a second. Like, it's a lot easier to be happy and healthy when you take care of yourself. Like a little bit of exercise here and there, um, eat real food, right? It's like, it's real easy to go to the grocery store and walk through the middle aisles where everything is like processed with preservatives and a lot of stuff that's not helping your long-term health outlook. If you eat real food, and even the real food is tainted these days, it's ridiculous. Um, let's not go like I could go on that rant for a long time, but like do your best to just eat real food, get a good night of sleep, a little bit of exercise, you know what I mean? And don't overwork yourself because I've definitely been guilty of that. <laughs> but I just wanted to mention that because that's those are things that I think really make, make a huge difference. You know what I mean? It helps me move 100 miles an hour every day because it's not like wearing me down. I'm like, I mean, I don't know. I, I try to keep balance. And I try to do good habits and whatnot. So anyways, all right. When it comes to print on demand, pacing is a big thing, right? You can sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna work on my business, but am I gonna upload one product today? Am I gonna upload five? Am I gonna upload 10? We, we already talked about like, respect how much time you have to give, but also if it's, if it's an unlimited amount of time, then really like, what should you aim to do? And this is where I've shared this publicly, like my whole journey really started and for the most part through even today, almost six years in, has relied on Amazon Merch for pacing. Now, those of you guys that can't get into Amazon Merch, you know, yeah, it sucks, right? But like at least kind of maybe consider borrowing the way that they gamify print on demand for us that are running the businesses. When you start Amazon Merch, you can upload one to two products a day. It does fluctuate with time. So I don't know if it's one or two right now, but I know that it typically bounces between the two um, depending on what time of year it is. Like you may be able to upload one product a day Sometimes you may be able to upload two products a day, but you can't upload five no matter what, right? So when I was in Amazon Merch tier 10, I would spend a lot of time researching, designing, 
optimizing for SEO, my one upload a day because I only had that one upload, right? And then eventually I get tiered up to tier 25. Next thing you know, I can upload two, three, four products a day. So I adjust accordingly. Don't spend as much time researching. Don't spend as much time designing. Don't spend as much time on any of the aspects that require our time so that I can still get my daily uploads done. I just can't justify spending the same amount of time that I used to because I need to get more done, right? Because we know empty upload slots, they pay reliably 100% of the time, $0. So we wanna use those upload slots. Then when you fill them, you can go back and reevaluate, hey, did I you know, make the best decision with my uploads? Or should I maybe delete them and put something better up there? But first things first, fill those upload slots, all right? And this doesn't just apply to Amazon Merch. I'm saying though, but you can borrow this approach maybe and apply it to your Etsy shop, to your Redbubble shop. Oh, where else are you selling? <laughs> I'm on Walmart now, you know what I mean? Like how many do I upload to Walmart, right? And this becomes a lot easier too when you have a base of existing designs. Like I'm on Walmart now, but I can just go upload my old designs that I've already made, right? I don't have to sit down and say, okay, let me do research for just Walmart. It's like, well, if I have these designs selling on Amazon, then they'll probably sell on Walmart. You know what I mean? Or if it's selling on Etsy, it'll probably sell on Walmart. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so the longer you've been at this, um, the easier it does get. But pacing, you gotta figure this out for yourself. If you're in Amazon Merch though, it almost like <laughs> kind of solves it for you. Because again, they put these limitations on your account based on you know how long you've been selling, how successful you've been. You know The tier system I am a big fan of because it gamifies things and almost like tricks us into giving us um, what am I trying to say? Like not bite size, but like, it's like winnable, winnable goals, like achievable goals. You know, you're brand new. Okay. Are you capable of uploading one design today? Yeah, I can do one. Okay. You've been at it for a while. Can you do two today? Yeah, I can do two. Boom. Two turns into four one day. Cause you get tiered up to tier 100. Can you do four? You know what I mean? And then eventually it gets to the point where you can do like a hundred a day. I mean, for me right now, if I look, it's like 10,000 a day. Obviously I'm not trying to hit those numbers, but um, I have adjusted my strategy according, accordingly. So I would just say, be willing to be agile and adjust as well as it makes sense to. But you have to do what works for you, all right? In life, <laughs> not just business, in life. You gotta make things work for you, all right? Time is a huge constraint that basically everybody has. I mean, I, I'm self-employed now, right? I didn't used to be. I used to work two jobs, web developer, then I taught web development three classes every semester at a local university. And I had a little bit of a life, right? I still got my exercise and all that good stuff, but like I still made it work for me. You know what I mean? It, it, it might mean, oh, I like playing computer games. Well, guess what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna play computer games if I need to do some other stuff that is a bigger priority to me. Or I wanna go see some friends or family. Okay, cool. Business on the back burner. I'm gonna make this work for me. I'm gonna go do that. You know, I may need to work twice as hard the next day when I have a little bit of time, but at least I know that, hey, I'm doing this today, so tomorrow I gotta work twice as hard, right? Just make it work for you. I mean, and keep in mind too, I didn't put a slide in for this, but like in life, there are literally two types of people. There are the doers and there are the people that just everybody else, right? What do you call the people that aren't doers? You just say everybody else, I guess. Um, in order to like make money online, which is why you probably are watching this video, subscribe to my channel, et cetera, you gotta be a doer. <laughs> if you're not doing, right? If you're just consuming information all the time, it's like, that's great. But at some point, like, you know, start taking the steps to put stuff out there on the internet for sale, occupy online real estate with things for sale, with print on demand, we get the automated fulfillment, start making money. You know, that's what it's about, that's the game. Uh, by the way, click the links in the description for my free print on demand mini course and check out my print on demand Facebook group. I'm gonna put links to both in the description if you're not already in there. Um, don't forget guys, like we said, budget your time accordingly, but be realistic about how much time you have to budget. And then also you may need to figure out like what works best for you in terms of the print on demand process. You've got your research, you've got your designing, you've got your uploading. You may have to set up ads after that, right? You may want to do further keyword research uh, for the ads or just for your organic SEO. Some people can do like each step in a row, one at a time and just go through the whole um, product listing creation life cycle all at once. Other people thrive by doing just the research today and then tomorrow, just the designing. And then the next day, just the uploading. Figure out what works for you. Literally try different things, right? And in life, in life, by the way, outside of business, try different things. You know what I mean? Is your, I don't know, I don't wanna go off tangents, but like, you know what I mean? Try getting an extra hour of sleep at night. You know what I mean? Try waking up early. Try switching your diet up. You know what I mean? If if you think you can benefit from those things. I tried fasting last year and I love fasting now. You know what I mean? That really works for me. 
um, little things like that, man. Just, you know, keep improving the quality of your life. And again, it comes back to that first slide, which was really about scheduling, having a schedule, having a routine, like a repetitive routine. Because if it's a routine, you don't have to wonder like, hey, am I going to go to the gym today? No, if it's part of your routine, you don't ask yourself, am I going to the gym? You just go, <laughs> right? It's, it's what you do. It's not, am I going to? It's not that. Mentally, you already know. No, that's what I do, right? It's a routine. So trick yourself to do things that are positive for you. Uh, focus on Q4 2023. Like it's still 2022. We're still in Q4. But since, you know, in regards to like Amazon merch, when they tagged our listings with arrives after Christmas in red text, sales started to uh, decline, you know, pretty rapidly. Uh, not that we're not still making nice December sales, you know, but like let's let's keep an eye on 2023. Now we're going to make money all year. And if you need motivation, how about subscribing to my channel? How about following me on Twitter, on Facebook? When I get my Instagram back, follow me there. I'm going to be posting my sales updates. I typically post daily sales updates. All right. So, you know, if you need motivation, just follow people. There's a lot of great YouTubers as well um, that are really successful. I don't know how many people are posting, you know, their sales, but like, hey, you know what I mean? Like if you need motivation, at least I'll do what I can for you to provide it, to keep that long-term perspective. Let's make some sales every day in 2023, but let's also like for me, the motivation is I want to see huge numbers in December, 2024. And I love while I'm grinding through the process of creating new listings all year, just looking forward to that, you know, seeing how high I can get those numbers in the fourth quarter. So anyways, guys, that's a little bit of like my perspective on this thing. You got to do what works for you. Um, just keep pushing forward though. As long as you are creating products for sale and of course, you know, they can't suck, right? You gotta, you gotta adhere to the best practices when it comes to things like design, when it comes to things like SEO, you will be in good shape. You just gotta keep going through the processes, keep showing up, keep chipping away, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. It's a long journey, all right? And if you would like to learn from me and how I make six figure print on demand sales, every single year, my exact step-by-step -step process with my updated for 2023 course, which I've been working on behind the scenes nonstop. You can find it in the description. The link is down there. Also a link to my private community where I do weekly live streams and office hours and post lots of resources. It's 40% off if you use the link in the description, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Happy New Year. I'll see you guys soon.